A historic day as former President Donald Trump is expected to turn himself in at a Manhattan courthouse. Here is a live look outside. Madeline Rivera takes us through the court hearing about to happen and what's expected after it's over. Security is tight in New York as former President Trump prepares to surrender to law enforcement ahead of his historic arraignment. It's mayhem. It's mayhem. Police presence is ramped up in New York with former President Donald Trump about to answer to a host of criminal charges. We'll be pleading very loudly not guilty before the judge um, and then we'll go from there. The indictment still remains under seal, but the Manhattan grand jury that indicted Trump was investigating alleged hush money payments made on his behalf to two women in the days leading up to the 2016 presidential election. People are infuriated and they are now understanding that weaponization of the justice system is a real thing. Trump's legal team is expected to file a motion to dismiss the case. However, one of his rivals for the Republican presidential nomination is doubling down on his calls for Trump to drop out. A public official under criminal charges ought to step aside for the good of the public and the office that you seek. Meanwhile, Georgia Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene is expected to be one of Trump's supporters taking part in a protest today at a park right outside of the courthouse. Yeah, I think he's, you know, a surprisingly resilient guy. You know, he is um, very aware of the historic significance of this moment. And again, not about him, but about the criminal justice system being turned on its head. Trump is expected to address the arraignment tonight in Florida unless the judge imposes a gag order. In New York, Mallory Rivera, Fox News.